Hello everybody, we're back, this time with a whole bunch of books, in case books. you missed it, we just uploaded the all the DVDs and everything we found from our thrift store finds we this week. We uploaded it. Well, yes, we. Yes, we. You helped. Did I? Yeah. I can help. But uh, now we're going to go through all of our books. We had a books. whole bunch of fantasy and science fiction ones, a bunch of different series. This one I don't know, but uh, Mickey Zucker Reichert. Uh, don't know this guy, but a whole but bunch of... His name of... is Mickey, he's probably old. <laughs> Possibly, but they look like from the time period that we enjoy and the kind of books that will sell as a series. So just never, never heard of this cool one. Covers though. Yeah, interesting covers again. Yeah, this is definitely like a lot of the '80s, '90s science fiction of that type. Uh, a whole bunch of <laughs> Forgotten Realms. That's really cool. Because we never find those anymore. Yeah, we do. It's like very, very happy to find those in Dragonlance and uh, Warhammer, like those kind of things. We've been finding that, a lot of Warhammer yeah. recently, which is really nice because those hold their value. Yeah, Warhammer really sells well. Forgotten Realms is like certain ones, or if you have like a complete set of a trilogy or something, that kind of thing, and then some Dragonlance, a handful. The Kaz and Minotaur, I remember I like that one. We have that. Yeah, uh, Dark Heart and Fist and Danalus Reborn. Reborn. And a few Pierce Anthony. I remember this cover. I don't know if I probably read this one back in the day because I remember that cover very vividly. Sam. And two this of the weird. Robotech books. They just I sold like a huge it. box set of Robotech. So two random very rare lines of Robotech. Those. Yes. Uh, the comic front found one manga and then one Yay! comic book. We never um, find manga. I've never anymore. heard of this series, Dragon Drive. Dragon Drive. But volume twelve of that, and this is pretty cool. Uh, it's the Mummy, the '90s Brandon Fraser Mummy. It's, it's a the only Mummy. Prequel to the third. I like the original, like older. I have way right behind you. No. Yeah. No, never seen it. Of course, Karloff and stuff. Yes. Yeah, nope. But of those, and a couple nope. other hardcover books. So one to finish off a set. Uh, Suzanne Collins, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes from The Hunger Games. Is this a fourth book in the series? Uh, yeah, Can somebody know. answer me this? I'm very confused. Aren't there four books in the series? I thought there was only three. I don't know. I've never read them. I so. didn't realize there was four. Look at that. Let uh, me know. Warped Factors. So, Walter Koenig from Look Star Trek. Look at the back. Yes, He's so funny. From Babylon, Star Trek and Babylon 5. Uh, and then I found a different oh, Maryland murder book. So I have several Maryland murder books oh. and many Maryland documentaries. And oh my god. Laserdisc and Blu-ray, but she different. She was murdered. The Maryland end. Book. And oh look, it says case closed. The case is case closed is at closed. the end. That's nice. So a collection of Maryland murder books. So I got something very rare. I found a picture. Yeah, you love, when, a you, you love when you find I stuff I love when books. I find pictures. It's this actually random. has... This has a phone number on the back, so I might be calling these people. You're not calling anybody. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Should I call them? It says the Bittner Sunroom, but it looks like a parade. I don't know if you can see it. If you know who these people are, let me know, because I'll return this to them. It's very exciting. I love mind. finding pictures. It's so exciting. Mind. We found one Babysitter's Club book, but it's one. in really good shape. Yeah, Usually they're not, random. so that was that was exciting. Uh, Jeannie B. Jones, just one, but again, good shape. And two Mary Kate Nashley books. Oh my god. Don't you love her? I feel like I know who Robin Hobb is. Like I feel like I've, I've never heard that name. I feel like I've I don't know if I've read Robin Hobb. I don't know if Robin's even a girl or a boy. But never heard of it. I don't know. That's book three of a trilogy. Yeah, I know, but Fits in the Fool trilogy. That's me. Sounds like us. Uh, and then it's just some random Make more German fantasy. Words. Yes, very nice. Found another Sarah Douglas. I don't know why we're finding her oh, all of a sudden. Again. This one's in better shape, it's a better shape than so our copy. So we're gonna that's going to be my copy that now. But it's getting so hard to find fantasy and sci-fi books now. So that Ink Death book that took me forever to find. No, we can never find it. I can never find it. I found a second copy. <laughs> I finally found a second copy. Yeah. So now we're going to have two sets of these. And I found... Ink spell. This one's this one's kind of ink hard. That one's easy yeah, to find. Yeah. That one's easy to find. Yeah, the ink death. Ink death is third the hard one. one. That's the third one. Found three more Charlene Harris books, which is good because Halloween is mm -hmm. just around the corner. Spiders everywhere. It sounds delightful. Just some more of these level one reading books. And some fantasy. We've sold a couple times some Dover Thrift Editions, so put them all together and see what we got. I don't know, this was an Oprah 
book club book. They tend so to do. Sure is great then. They tend to <laughs> do pretty well, so calm down. I'm probably gonna put these together. It's a dictionary of spelling, which just seems like a weird thing. I don't know. And then synonyms, antonyms, homonyms, nim 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 nim. And then one of these um, Garfield comics. They do pretty well. Also found one soundtrack sealed, so it's yeah, in the bargain right. room. So only one. Eh. But these are not ones that you like, though. No, no. no. Camelot, My Fair Lady, Gigi, Paint Your Wagon, Brigadoon. It's for old people. That's not for me. Those are the the old people songs. I like some of those. No. Then I found these. I don't know. I don't know. They're they're selling pretty well on eBay, so we'll, well see what happens. Well, they're sealed, and we have a lot they're from sealed. two different collections of classical music. What is what so do you have? So these are classic composers. I have early romantic. And I have modern. So a whole. So they're just full stack of they those. They remind me of like digi books because they have like oh, yeah, the pamphlet booklet inside, yeah. booklet inside with the audio CD mm -hmm. of the composer. So I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of them before, but apparently it's a thing. And they're sealed, so yeah. decided to take a chance. They weren't very expensive. We'll see what happens. I don't know, though. Do you know? I do not know. You don't know either. All right, so a ton of stuff to list. We did a lot. <sighs> Thankfully, I have some time to list some stuff, because holy crap. A bunch of stuff between these last two videos. Oops. So. <laughs> no, it's good. Good week. It is. Anyway, so I hope you guys are having a great week, and hope mm -hmm. that, you know, if you're in the U.S., you're having a good July 4th weekend, and a lot of people are doing stuff this weekend. You could be somewhere else and have a nice July 4th weekend. Well, yeah, but you're not, like, celebrating maybe July the, 4th. <laughs> maybe the British celebrate. They're yeah. like, they're gone. Yeah. That's great. They're gone. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Let me know if you're British and you celebrate uh, July 4th. You're out of your mind. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.